Hi everybody, uh, my name's Will Barris and I'm an illustrator living in East London. So originally I'm from Birmingham and this picture coming up now... <laughs> is it really going? Can you? So this is a picture of... This is a picture of me and my best friend Dave in a pub in Selly Oak in 91 when I was 17. Uh, when I was a teenager, my dad arranged some work experience for me at, um, at the company that was doing the graphic design for his engineering company. And I remember in the studio there was a beautiful illustration of a train travelling through a, a jungle in Singapore. And the designer next to me said, um, it's really sad because this guy's so talented and he lives in a caravan with his mum. So uh, I made a mental note that I wasn't going to become an illustrator. So uh, I went to art college in Bristol and um, I just made videos and, um, and in the end I made an installation with a swivel chair and a camera and a, and a, th and a thing that you put on your head in. I remember my granddad got stuck in it. And I finished college and I, it pretty much rendered me unemployable. So I went and worked uh, at Talking Pages for eight months. And when you're at Talking Pages, all you can do is um, you have a script and you've got to look at the screen, take the call. So all you can do is doodle. So I just drew like every day. And I wasn't drawing at all, but I just drew every day for like eight months. And in the end, I had um, a huge pile of drawings that I turned into a book. And I thought, maybe I could become an illustrator. It's got to be better than working in a call centre. So I was travelling back, to, Lon back to, Lo to London and looking for work. And eventually I, I got a, a job, you've seen it already, doing um, a record sleeve called Hip Hop Don't Stop. Um, and at that time, and then I was also doing a lot of flyers for, like, for nights like Shaft. This guy Sam used to drive around Bristol and he had a tannoy on top of his fiesta. Um, and then, so we were doing all that sort of thing. And then at some point, a guy turned up called Rick, in, Rick Blackshaw in Bristol and he was working on a book. And uh, Scrawl was, it, he was making a book called Scrawl, which was basically, this is like all pre internet. So, so, you know, if you were really into art, you'd look at, I think if you were into graffiti, you'd look in the back pages of Hip Hop Connection or you'd read comics, or you'd look at record sleeves. So basically, the scrawl was um, joining the dots between all of these different things. And, um, and the book came out, and it was kind of seminal, and it was on all of the, um, it was on all the art director's desks in um, ad agencies. And from that, I wound up um, doing a Volkswagen advert. And then... And then street art arrived, and also EasyJet, you know, was doing super cheap flights. So we were like art tourists, and we were traveling all around Europe, and I wound up having a network of friends. That, you know, it's like pr prior to this one, I was in Italy. We were painting on a huge canvas on a runway. This guy, Maurizio, was looking after us. He was driving us around drunk. His car was just like an ashtray. And then, um, and we were getting, oh, and we were getting picked up for, um, yeah, like jobs with Gravis. And then I, I carried on doing animation, and I met my, and, and my wife, my wife actually, she was working at the animation company as a receptionist, but she went out and, produ and we produced and made this job together, which was, again, for Volkswagen, and it was all about recycling. Um, and then what happened after that? So yeah, we carried on. So then basically after that, it was like, you know, street art was getting massive. This, this, took, this was in Spring Street in New York. So we were, I, fl I flew over there and it was this huge, huge exhibition, like massive queue around, around the block. It was in the New York Times. And uh, it was just like that for, a, you know, a few years, just, um, just like doing, doing jobs. This was for Oakley's. So it was, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd been, um, just doing loads of watercolours and like working, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was in between travelling around painting, doing murals, and then I was back in the animation company doing watercolours. This one was in, um, I painted this one in LA and there's a car company called Scion and they had a gallery. So I went out to buy some canvas, but I didn't have enough money for canvas, so I went to the fabric shop over the road and bought some fabric. And it was a lot of things like that, you know, it was like we were just learning, there wasn't like a plan, it was just kind of, we were, 
Um, and then occasionally I was doing it, uh, commissions. So this was a painting for a guy in Copenhagen. I sent it to him, but he sent it back to me with um, covered in post-it notes about things he wanted me to change. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just sent it back to him. <laughs> but like commissions, is, it's, a, it's a bit like that. Um, I mean, I've always like I've always gone back to trying to do stuff for music, and this was one. This was a, uh, a record sleeve for the Brooks Brothers. Um, originally, I did it as a painting. And this is like one of my favourite paintings that I ever did. Um, but they didn't like it. It wasn't bright enough, so I redid it for them in Photoshop. And then that painting now, my mum has it. This was in a monastery in um, southern Italy. Um, and we got there, and the guy that was organising, there's another really super famous street artist called JR, so he turned up, he just dropped us off in this monastery. So he went there, and I was given this room, and I just took my clothes off and like painted this little room, and just painted everything. This was another job that we did. For this one, we got up at four o'clock in the morning, and we went down a manhole cover. And we painted this underground in, like, in a tunnel in Paris. There was like 12 of us. And then, um, and then this one was painted in Taipei Zoo in Taiwan. Um, and I arrived a couple of days after everybody, but everybody else had, the, you had to paint, you know, you do your fill first, but every afternoon it rained, so like rained really hard. So everybody's painting would just disappear off the wall. So when I got there, he did it in strips. And then it was like a case of just drawing first, you know, I just did all the drawing. And I mean, it's, it's still for me that it's not, you know, it's, it's just drawing, it's illustration. So drawing with, on a giant scale with a can. Um, 2012, my son was born, um, and then I got to do loads of work on the Olympics, so we're working for a company. This is the last slide, isn't it? <laughs> so this is like where I'm at now, which is kind of like, for a while I got disillusioned with doing illustration. I was trying really hard to be a painter, but now it's like the two things have merged together. And this is kind of like, so now I just enjoy drawing again. And it, it, to me, it's always been about drawing. And it's really a beautiful time at the moment because of people like Amy and Ali. <laughs> <laughs>